Hey guys, welcome back sa isa na namang basic C++ tutorial. So this is part 14 and for today we are going to talk about inheritance. So again guys, reminder if you haven't watched the previous videos about object-oriented programming, panoorin nyo muna yun bago kayo tumuloy dito. Kasi if you haven't watched those videos, hindi nyo may intindihan yung video na to. Okay, good. Sige. So let's continue on sa ating pinag-aaralan. So we are at inheritance na. So, explain muna natin kung ano yung inheritance. So, inheritance, from the word inherit, to obtain from an ancestor. So, alam nyo naman yung word na inherit, no? yung minamana nyo sa magulang nyo. So, minsan, minamana nyo yung itsura nila. So, kamukha mo yung mata ng tatay mo, kamukha mo yung bibig ng nanay mo. So, yun, yun yung inheritance or inherit na tinatawag natin. So, to obtain from an ancestor. So, parang programming lang yan, guys. So, sa programming naman, inheritance, Let's another class be able to do everything another class can do, which allows them to extend it or override it. So, sinasabi ko nga sa inyo guys, di ba yung class is a blueprint of an object. Ngayon, yung class na yun, pwede pang mag-inherit sa isa pang class. So, yung parang tatay niya na class. Okay, so yung parent class niya, so pwede siya mag-inherit doon ng mga attributes and mga functions na kaya niyang gawin. So, lahat ng kaya ng gawin ng isang class, Pwede din niyang gawin, pwede din niyang dagdagan, or pwede niyang i-override yung ginagawa nung class na yun. So, para mas maintindihan natin, let's go to code blocks and tingnan niyo kung paano gumagana yung inheritance na tinatawag na to. Okay, so, here we are at code blocks. And again, meron na namang code na nakalagay. Don't worry, i-explain ko yan. So, ayun na nga, explain na natin. So, we have here, again, another class student. But this time, meron lang siyang attribute na string name and meron siyang getters and setters. So, last video, pinag-aralan natin yung getters and setters. Hopefully, naiintindihan niya na. So, etong isa na to, set name. Huwag kayong malilito. Ginawa ko lang one line para malinis. So, isa-set lang niya yung name. Hihingi siya ng name. Tapos, iset niya yung name na to sa nahingi nating name. Gets yung get name naman, i-return lang natin yung name niya. And then, we have here an object function which is pinag-aralan na din natin. So, gumawa lang tayo ng introduce self. So, papakilala lang niya yung sarili niya. Hello, my name is name. So, kung ano yung name na to. So, down here in our main method, I just made a one student. So, student, student one, then sinet ko yung name niya na Timmy. So, mapansin nyo guys, wala tayong constructor. Kasi yung constructor, hindi siya pwedeng i-inherit. So, what we, what we did is, we used a getter and setter. So, yun yung function ng getter and setters. So, we just set the name to Timmy, and then pinag-introduce self natin siya. So, ito yung output ng program na to. So, as you can see, nag-introduce self lang siya. Hello, my name is Timmy. So, kasi sinet nga natin yung name niya sa Timmy, and then tinawag natin yung introduce self, which is nandun sa class natin. Now, guys, what is something special about this? So, wala pa. So, gagawin na natin, gagawa pa tayo ng isa pang class. So, ayan, nakikita nyo, meron na tayong class student. And then, down here, we will create another class. So, para magiging variant siya na student. So, gagawa tayo class lazy student. So, ayan, tamad na student. Then, paano natin i-inherit lahat nung nandun sa student? We need um, yung total doc or colon. And then, we need to put public yung student. So, ang ginawa lang natin is, gumawa tayo ng bagong class. So, class keyword and then yung class name. Then, colon. Then, kailangan may public, guys. So, para ma-access natin lahat ng nasa loob. And again, guys, kailangan may public uli dito. Don't ever forget that. And then, we need to put the name of the class na kailangan natin inherit So, ibig sabihin na ito, yung lazy student, i-inherit niya lahat ng nandito sa student. So, as you can see, guys, I haven't put anything in the lazy student class. Now, if I try to make a lazy student. So, gagawa tayo ng lazy student. Lazy student. And student 2. So, as you can see guys, yung student 2 is a lazy student. So, we will put student 2 here. So, remember guys, walang nakasulat sa lazy student. We just inherited from the student. So, student 2, that, as you can see guys, lahat ng pwedeng gawin ni student, kaya niya din gawin. So, yung lazy student, kaya niya Iset yung name, pwede natin introduce din yung self niya. So, let's try to set our name. So, iset natin yung name to hmm, um, team naman. Team. So, student1 that, uh, student2 I'm so sorry. Student2 that introduce self. 
Save natin yan and I forgot lagay natin ng end line to para nasa new line. Save. Then if I run this, makikita nyo guys, even though na lazy student siya, kaya pa rin niyang i-introduce himself niya katulad nung sa student. So as you can see guys, hello my name is Timmy. Hello my name is Tim. As you can see guys, meron silang inheritance. So pwede pa nating dagdagan yung lazy student na yan. So yun yung maganda sa inheritance guys. So, dadagdagan pa natin si lazy student ng sarili niyang object function. So, what we need to do is to tap, enter, enter. Then, again, dapat natin i-indicate yung modifier na public para ma-access natin siya kahit saan. And then, down here, we can now put our object function. So, kunwari, gagawa tayo. Ano ba ginagawa ng lazy student? Um, so, gagawa tayo. Void sleep in class. Okay. So, then, save natin yan. Then, mag-see out lang tayo. Uh, name, so nakikita nyo guys, pwedeng i-access yung variable na nandun sa student kasi in-inherit niya. So, see out name, slept in class. Save natin yan. So, ayan yung ginagawa niya. So, yung lazy student, pwede siya mag-sleep in class. But the student cannot sleep in class. So, as you can see guys, makikita nyo, enter, enter natin dito. So, student 1 that sleep in class, walang lalabas. So, mag -e error yan. If I try to run this, yan, mag -e error Error, class student has low member named sleep in class. It is because yung parent niya hindi pwedeng matulog sa klase kasi hindi siya lazy student. But, when we try to do it in our lazy student, which is student 2, lazy student siya, as you can see, nakasulat, that sleep in class, pwede siya mag sleep in class. Now, save natin yan again. Put end L here. I forgot. Again, so, yung student 2, pwede siya mag-sleep in class. Now, if I run this, makikita nyo. Hello, my name is Timmy, which is yung student natin. Hello, my name is Tim, which is yung lazy student natin. So, Tim slept in class. So, pwede matulog si Tim. Kasi, lazy student siya. So, yun yung ginagawa ng inheritance. So, we can inherit from the ancestor, then pwede pa natin dagdagan. So, parang magiging better version of itself siya. Pero, hindi better version niya kasi lazy <laughs> So, ayun, you get my point. Now, we will study about overriding. So, ano yung overriding? So, kung alam niyo yung word na override, parang uh, anuhan na natin siya, papatungan uli ng bagong function. So, gawa muna tayo ng bagong object function kay student, which is void study. So, lahat naman ng estudyante nag study So, study. Then, see out. Name. Studied. Okay, munti ko na naman makalimutan yung ML. So, pareho na silang pwedeng mag-study ngayon kasi sa student, meron na study and din inherit ni lazy student yung function na to. Okay, but we can now overwrite this in our lazy student. So, we can put void study also here, study. Then, mapapalitan na yung gagawin niya when we call study. So, see out name is to lazy to study. So, ayun, nakita nyo guys, meron na siya sariling karakteristik niya. So, pagka nag-study siya, tinatamad siya. But, the normal student studies. Okay? So, makikita nyo, again, we can call student 1 that study, then we can call student 2 that study. But, meron silang different output na makikita nyo mamaya. If I try to run this, Makikita nyo, hello, my name is Timmy. Hello, my name is Tim. Tim slept in class. Timmy studied. Tim is too lazy to study. Kasi si Tim is a lazy student. Si Timmy is a normal student. So, nakapag-study siya. So, yun guys ang ating inheritance. So, as thing niyang gamitin if you have a many variants of objects. So, kunwari, yan nga, student. So, maraming klase ng student. Merong lazy student. Merong masipang na studyante. And, ayun, yun yung function ng ating inheritance. So, we can make here a um, class hardworking hardworking student. Then, again, mag-inherit siya kay public student. Again, ngayon, yung hardworking student natin can inherit sa ating student. So, kahit ilang class pa yan, he can inherit from whatever class na gusto nila. So, kahit ilang class yung ilagay niya. So, again, public So, i-override natin yung study niya. So, may iba-iba silang characteristics. See out, 
name studied very hard. So, gagawa tayo ng hardworking student. Hardworking student, student tree. Then, student tree, that set name, um, Jim. Then, student tree, that introduce yourself. So, bawal siyang matulog kasi hindi siya lazy student. So, sleep in class, wala. But, meron tayong study also. Then, save natin. And if you're irantis, makikita nyo, may iba-iba silang characteristics. So, hello, my name is Timmy. Hello, my name is Tim. Tim is left in class. Tim is studied. Tim is too lazy to study kasi lazy siya. Then, meron lumabas na bagong student. Hello, my name is Jim. Jim studied very hard kasi hardworking student siya. Although, Pare-pareho yung tinawag natin na study. They have different characteristics. So, yung lazy student, too lazy to study. Yung hardworking student, study very hard. Pero yung normal na student, studied lang. So, ayun guys. So, pwede kayo gumawa ng maraming variant ng inyong objects. Kahit ilan. Basta alam nyo na yung logic ng inheritance guys. So, madali lang intindihin tong episode na to. And I hope you learned something from me today. And yun lang guys, kung may hindi kayo naintindihan, you can always comment down below on our video and we will try to answer your questions as much as possible. So yun guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.